Hi, welcome back to BizJet TV. It's Fab Polly here, and today we're going to be talking about the aircraft of the future. Yeah, the BizJet of the future. Now, I'm going to be showing you uh, some, some different, um, uh, some concepts and some prototypes and what's actually happening today in the design world with, with aircraft. But what you have to bear in mind is there are two main reasons why people uh, use private jets or buy a private jet. The first one is to save them time. And as I always say to clients, never think of purchasing an aircraft as buying an aircraft because you're limiting your field of vision. You need to look at yourself um, and look at the deal as if you are buying, not as if you are buying, you are buying time, okay? So you want to save time, and this is why you're traveling by business jet, because now you control the schedule, and you can also land at secondary airports. Well, you'll see in some of these aircraft we're going to be talking about, uh, very, very innovative, and how this is going to accelerate time even more. Now, we're going to be uh, showing you five different um, uh, aircraft. The first will be the, the Lilium jet, which is an electric jet, uh, developed by a, a team of engineers in Germany. Then we'll go into the Aeromobile flying car, which is a different concept to go into the Aether Cruiser, which is a, like an airship. Uh, then we're going to look at the XTI Trifan 600, uh, which is an interesting uh, thing which is being developed, which will be on the market in the next few years as well. Very interesting. And then we're going into the Aerion AS2 supersonic business jet. So let's just dive in and let's have a look at these uh, different aircraft and what they can do for you. The first vehicle we're going to look at is the Lilium Aero, or the Lilium Electric Jet. This is developed by a group of engineers from Munich in Germany. It's a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, five-seater, powered by 36 electric jet engines mounted via 12 movable flaps. This will cover routes usually covered by cars, but five times faster. Imagine going from downtown Manhattan to JFK, which usually takes 55 minutes by car, will only take five minutes with the Lilium electric jet. Now we look at the Aeromobile flying car. Interesting concept here. Not only a concept, the prototype has been built and test flown. The flying car is going through certification at the moment. This has been developed by a team in Slovakia, of all places. And as you can see, it looks like a car, but it also turns it into a plane. And as I like to call it, it drives like a car, but flies like a plane. It's powered by a hybrid electric system. As you can see, you press the button and the wings come out and it turns into a plane. See, this um, actually drives on the motorway like a normal car. As I said before, it drives like a car. And it comes into the airfield. Press the button. It goes from car mode into plane mode, onto the runway, and up into the air. Now, another important feature of the Aeromobile is it incorporates a vehicle recovery ballistic parachute. What does that mean? It means that if suddenly you have a failure of some sort in the air, you can actually deploy the parachute and land anywhere. That's a very important safety feature that's been built into this flying car. It's currently going through certification and the price tag on this is 12 million US dollars. And moving to another concept, this is actually a concept, this is not being built, this is not a prototype, it's called the Aether Cruiser. It's developed by a UK based designer called Mac Byers and inspired by the movie Thunderbird. Uh, this is what I define as the Boeing business jet of the future. So you can see it's very large inside. It's a, basically a luxury cruiser airship. So, you know, you've got a restaurant inside, bedrooms, offices, uh, you name it. There's all sorts of things that can be done with this. This is certainly something once they get the propulsion system right and that an investment on board that we will be seeing taken to the skies in the future. It's giving you an idea of how business aviation is going to change. Uh, you know, imagine having one of these vehicles which doesn't require a long runway like the Boeing business jet does. This can take off from a field uh, and uh, up in the air and then land in a field on the other side as you can see here in the rendering. Mm -hmm. 
So next we move on to the uh, XTI TriFan 600. Very interesting um, aeroplane. It's a six seater with two ducted wing fans. This has a cruise speed of 330 knots and an incredible range of 1500 nautical miles. As you can see, vertical takeoff and landing, it takes off like a helicopter, flies like a jet. So this 330 knots is very fast for this type of vehicle. Flight testing starts in 2018 and this will be on the market to buy and fly by 2023. So it's only really around the corner. Very interesting concept and design. So this has been developed in Colorado in the United States. Imagine flying from London to Milan in one of these or Los Angeles to Dallas. Incredible with a price tag of between 10 to $12 million. Next we go supersonic. Yes, supersonic is back with the Aerion AS2 developed by entrepreneur Robert Bass who has financed this project a while back and now just recently signed a joint venture with Lockheed Martin to develop the aircraft and bring it into production. This is supersonic flying at 1.2 mark, which gives you a range of 4,200 miles, or if you're going subsonic, will give you 5,400 mile range. As you can see, it saves you a lot of traveling time, two hours, 24 minutes between Sao Paulo, Brazil, and New York in the US. Um, so lots of times in London and New York, it saves you two hours, 36 minutes, and San Francisco, Singapore will save you five hours, 54 minutes. Big time saver, supersonic travel on the way back. Hi, welcome back. Well, I guess you enjoyed that. Um, of course, there's a lot more other different concepts and designs and projects being worked on as we speak. I just wanted to give you a bit of a taste of what lies ahead for the future and what if, what you can do today with today's business jets is already incredible, saving you stacks of time. But what you'll be able to do in the future once these these uh, these concepts, these prototypes start to be out there and start flying around. You'll see a flying car um, flying around. You'll see people, you know, taxi out their garage with their XTI Trifan 600 and then take off and off they go for their holiday to Spain from London um, and straight, straight, straight away. And so all this kind of thing, how it's going to change uh, the way business is done and the way people connect and, and, and that. So that's, um, you know, if you want to know more about uh, private jets in general, if you're thinking of buying a private jet, you want a private consultation, uh, feel free, <laughs> sorry about that. please feel free to contact me. My email is below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like this video, share this video and comment below. That's all from Fab Polly at BizJet TV. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>